Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do or we will talk about proportion. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Given our definition of proportion, we have here proportion is an equation that shows that two ratios are equal. So in our screen, we have here the first ratio, 20 over 25. And then we have the second ratio, which is 4 over 5. This one is an example of proportion. Pero, paano natin prove that this one is a proportion? We know that we can simplify this ratio by dividing your numerator by 5 and also by dividing your denominator by 5. And it will become 4 over 5, meaning 20 over 25 is equal to 4 over 5. It shows that these two ratios are equal and definitely an example of ratio, of proportion. Okay? Another thing you need to know about proportion is the different parts of a proportion. Let's say, for example, focus on the data. We have A is to B is equal to C is to D. This shows that these two ratios are equal. We have four different terms. We have the first term, which is A, second term, which is B, third term is C, and the fifth, the fourth term is letter D. And you know that um, sa proportion, meron tayong tinatawag na outer terms at meron tayong inner terms. Itong inner terms natin, ito yung tinatawag natin means. And these outer terms, A and D, are the extremes. And alam natin that we can express this proportion into this proportion. A over B is equal to C over D. Wherein yung A natin is an extreme. This one is also an extreme, yung D natin. Ito naman ay means. Ito is also a mean. So another thing about these two things is that the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. So, pag multiply mo ang inyong means, you have B times C. You can have this B, B, C. And there you have it. You have to multiply also your extremes. So you have A times D. You can have A, D. Pero, sir, paano naman kapag ganito in fractional form? You can multiply your means. B times C. You have B, C. And then, itong extremes mo rin, pwede mo siyang i-multiply. So, you have equal to A, D. Sir, what if you can have an example of it? So, for example, we have 1 is to 4 is equal to... 2 is to 8. So let's try to multiply this one. Try natin to multiply itong ating means, which is 4 times 2. It will give you 8. And then, multiply din natin yung ating extremes, which is 1 times 8. It will give you also 8. So if, therefore, if the product of your means and the product of your extremes are equal, this ratio shows a proportion, okay? One of the possible problems na may encounter nyo when it comes to proportion is that we have the year. Tell whether each pair of ratios form a proportion. Ang pinaka concepto nitong problem na to is we need to prove or we need to show that these two ratios can form a proportion. So sir, paano ba ginagawa yan? Una, you can equate them, or for them silang going equation, 4 over 16 is equal to 5 over 20. And di ba, ano natin, if the product of your means is equal to the product of your extremes, meaning the two ratios form a proportion. So, ang gagawin mo dito is that you need to multiply these two numbers. You have 4 times 20 is equal to 16 times 5. 
So 4 times 20, we know that 4 times 20 is equal to 80. And then 16 times 5, it will give you also 80. Since the two products, or the product of your means and the product of your extremes are equal, meaning this is a proportion. Okay? 4 over 16 and 5 over 20 can form a proportion. So let's move on with the next example. We have 12 over 24 and 3 over 4. How are we going to show them that these two ratios can form a proportion? So we have here 12 over 24 is equal to 3 over 4. So we can multiply these two numbers, your extremes, 12, 12 times 4 will give you 48 and you can also multiply your means 24 times 3 it will give you 72 as you can see they are not equal or they are unequal so this one is not a proportion okay so let's move on with example number 3 and example number 4 so you can pause the video and you can try it yourself given these two ratios 4 over 2 and 20 over 6. You can pause the video. Okay, let's see if these two ratios can form a proportion. You have 4 over 2 is equal to 20 over 6. So let's multiply your extremes. You have 4 times 6, which is 24. And multiply your means, which is 2 times 20, it will give you 80. As you can see, they are not equal or they are unequal. Meaning, these two ratios cannot form a proportion. So let's move on with the last example. We have 6 over 9 is equal to 2 over 3. So try that and let's multiply. 6 times 3, it will give you 18. And 9 times 2, it will also give you 18. So they are equal, meaning this is a proportion. So ganun ka simple yung way kung paano alamin whether the given ratios can form a proportion or not. So again, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, at ihit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated para sa ating mga latest uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!